With FC25 just around the corner, I am going to be showing you today the highest rated possible teams you can get from the top five leagues in FC25. So yes, we are gearing up for FC25. We're going to start off in today's video with Bundesliga. In the goalkeeper position, Manuel Neuer is no longer the highest rated goalkeeper. We have got Dortmund's very own Cole Bell. He is an 88 rated goalkeeper. This formation is in the 4-3-3. That is the best possible highest rated uh, team you can get with this formation. In the two centre back positions, we're going to go for Bayer Leverkusen's Jonathan Tarr, who is strongly rumoured to be leaving Bayer Leverkusen in the next transfer window. Apparently, he doesn't want to be at Bayer Leverkusen no more, and he wants to go to, I believe, Bayern Munich. And in the right centre back position, we have got Schlotterbeck, another Dortmund centre back. In the two full back positions, we've got Grimaldo, who is an 86 rated now instead of an 84, but has massively took a. Apparently, he uh, considered Grimaldo to have not any legs anymore. He's gone down to a 74 pace left back. At the right back position, you could have gone with Jeremy Fringpong, but in, in the midfield where Joshua Kimmich can play, there is plenty of higher rated cards than Jeremy Fringpong. So at right back, we've gone for an 86 rated Joshua Kimmich with 69 pace. In the centre mid positions, we have got two Bayer Leverkusen players and a Bayer Munich player. In the left centre mid position, we've got Jamal Musiala. And the two Leverkusen lads, we've got Granit Xhaka, and we've also got Wurz, who's an 88 rated now. In the wing positions, we've got Coleman and we've got Sane, both Bayer Munich players. And then up front on his own, we have got Harry Kane, 90 rated striker. I am very surprised by this, um, being that Bayern Munich didn't have a great season last season. It was mainly Leverkusen and Dortmund and Stuttgart. And I'm surprised I'm not seeing any Stuttgart upgrades, if I'm being totally honest. Like a, like a, I, d I don't know why we didn't see Girasse, who now plays for Dortmund, as a higher rated. But if you look on foot.gg, we have got, that is basically the highest rated. We could have gone with a Pender up front, who's an 85. It, it, it's just a very low rated amount of players. I, I'm a bit puzzled with that one. Bayern Munich not having a great season last season. But we've got one, two, three, four, five players, which is interesting. But hey, let's get into the Premier League. Now we are into the Premier League section. This looks like a very tasty team, a very usable team at the start of FC25. We're sticking with 4 3 3. We're going to go in goal with Mr. Allison himself, the Liverpool goalkeeper, an 89 rated keeper again. We're going to go with Edison, who is an 88, but obviously highest rated. We have done with Allison. Left back, Robertson. Right back, Trent Alexander Arnold. Both got shocking pace downgrades 78 pace for Robertson. 75 pace for Trent Alexander-Arnold. In the two centre-back positions, we've got for Ruben Deesh, a 88 rated, I believe one less pair, one, le one less rating than his last year's card. He was an 89 rated last year. And basically Van Dijk, the best centre-back in the game at the start of the year, yet again, unreal card with that aerial plus. In the centre-centre mid position, we've gone for a 91 rated Rodri. Doesn't really look like a 91 rated card, but highest rated does in the midfield. On the left hand side, you've got Kevin De Bruyne, 90 rated card, looks great as ever. And on the right centre mid position card, you've got Odegaard, an Arsenal player, at 89 rated. In the wing positions, we've gone for an 88 rated Phil Foden, 86 pace, 90 dribbling on that card. He's mwah. And in the right wing position, we've gone for a Mohamed Salah, with no her this year. And then the main man up front, Mr. Erling Haaland looks like a dominant player at the start of the game. He's going to be an absolute nightmare in those first weeks of FC25. So that was the Premier League team. Let's get into La Liga. Now for La Liga. 4-3-3 again. Seems to be the way to go. In goal, Thibaut Courtois. You could have gone with and Mark Andre to Stegen at 89 rated as well. Full by position, she could have gone with Furla Mendy, but obviously higher rated is David Alaba, 85 rated at left back. And in the right back position, we've gone for Danny Carvel, 86 rated over in 85, less pace, less defending, less physical than his last card, I believe. Not a great right back. Three midfielders, we've gone for uh, Valverde at centre mid. 
De Jong and Bellingham. We have gone for an all front three Real Madrid attack force. Left wing, Vinicius Junior, 90 rated. Mbappe up top, of course, 91 rated. And Rodrigo at right wing. Couple of shout outs for Griezmann. Lewandowski, both 88 rated cards. But in the formation we got, they do not get into the team. That was the team for La Liga, mainly Real Madrid. It's basically Real Madrid with one Barca player. That is so crazy. But anyway, let's get into League 1. Right, now we're on to League 1. No Mbappe this year. And I'm not going to lie, I wasn't going to record this bit. But we're here now. <laughs> This isn't going to be good. So, in the old keeper, by a long stretch of the imagination, we have got Donnarumma 89 rated yet again this year. Basically, guys, this is a full PSG 11 apart from our left wing. So, left back, we got Nuno Mendes. In the left back position, we got Nuno Mendes. Right back position, we've got Akima. Centre backs, we've got Marquinhos and Hernandez. And then the three midfielders, we've got Vitinha, 85 rated, Fabio Ruiz, 82 rated, and Marco Asensio, 81 rated. The front three, we've got Golovin. You could have gone with Zaha at left wing. Kola Moani at striker and Usman Dembele at right wing. So yeah, not great. Maybe EA are expecting a lot of upgrades this 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 game with Lead and who knows. But that was Legion's team. Let's see what Serie A is looking like. So into the Serie A team, a bit better than Lead Un, but 4-3-3 again. We're gonna go for Summer and Gold. Should have gone with Mainan. Obviously, Milan isn't in the game anymore. But at left back, we have got Hernandez, best left back for in the in the whole game, pretty much. Centre backs, we've done Bastone and Bremer, and in the right back position, we have done for a Pavard. Three centre mids, we've done with Barella, Kalanoglu, and Locatelli, and then in the right wide men, I have no right wing to show you, so we've done with Dybala, Martinez up front, and then Raphael Leao at left wing. On the whole, it's a better team than Liga. Mainly, it's going to be Premier League, I think, this year, and La Liga, uh, and La Liga or Liga Santander or La Liga emotions, whatever you want to call it. Serie A is lacking. Liga and Bundesliga are lacking as well. Just a couple of positions that are just thrown together, it seems, from here. So those are the five main leagues, the highest rated players in each position, apart from, obviously, that Dybala. It looked pretty fun. A couple of players I really want to try out, but it's mainly going to be La Liga, La Liga Santander, whatever you want to call them, and, obviously, the Premier League. Serie A, Ligon and Bundesliga have some serious catching up to do for FC25. But if you have enjoyed today's episode of FC25, we're gearing up. We're like, it's a Saturday at the moment, so we've got less than a week now. Six days to go. We're going to be seeing gameplay soon from the game changes, I believe, what the game looks like. But yeah. That was the video today. I hope you enjoy it. Please do drop a like, drop a comment, all that good stuff. I do like and heart every single one. But until next time, we'll see you soon. Peace.